out again. At How are you doing? Uh, hey, hey, tell us you got great machines and now you even have better ones. They keep coming. Show us this. This is amazing. Well, doesn't it look amazing, Frank? I mean, look at its shine, the colors, the teaming. Flintstones, everybody in the world knows Flintstone. I mean, uh, Flintstones has such a rich portfolio on characters, on sound effects, and if you combine that with the right game, and I think that our Marvel game it is the right one to do, you get something which is really loved by the public and the player. Uh, what we did here is we combined, we made it a little bit more stronger, and we put a lot of features. It's like two bonuses are co-mingled together, so that there is always something going on. The idea is similar to all the other card games. You have to try to get all the characters together to get extra points, extra bonuses. But we feel that this game will be very, very strong in 2018. Uh, I like the little pachinko balls. Nice well, touch. Yeah, uh, especially the Asian people. They like they all they all know pachinko, and uh, they love it. Uh, we're we're going to do a few little tricks here and there that will even make it more exciting because that's what we learn from the public, that's what we're here for. And um, I got great hopes for this game. Um, thank you. We love it. All right. Okay, what's next? Willy? Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Well, here we are in front of Willy Wonka the second generation. And why am I saying second generation? Because last year we showed Willy Wonka with, without a video screen. And we find out that people said, yeah, the game is, is good, but it's, it could be stronger. Uh, we've put our US R&D team onto this, and this, I must say, is thanks to the R&D people at Elout USA. It's made in the US, not in Belgium. And they came up with this fantastic feature, and here you can see the strength of when you use video properly, how it starts to be interactive with, with the player, how you can act e easily add a bonus feature, how you can pay out tickets and tokens, uh, how you can get messages across, etc. Um, so I can only say to my US R&D guys, congratulations, they did a great job. Um, we've put it on test in Lucky Leo's and the New Jersey Boardwalk, and I think the rest is going to be history. It is. Because here at the show, we are the second day of the show, and the things are flying out. I mean, the thing is, it's really compact. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of lights. Uh, each player position is almost individual. So if there's a bonus going on on this one, the lights will go out on, on this particular player. He gets his bonus feature. The other ones are drawn to it, what's happening. Um, but also Willy Wonka is this, as a Wizard of Oz. It's a very strong license. Americans love it. The Australians love it. Europeans, we'll see. Europeans remain Europeans. You know, you know, the graphics are so good that yeah. I, I can almost smell the chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, within the soft toy market, you have the, the big one extreme that everybody knows by now. You have the cosmic grain, which is for large plush. But there's a, there, are, there is some soft toys out there that don't fit in either one of them. And that's where the Cosmic XL hit, comes in. Because the Cosmic XL is actually made for that odd-sized toy that doesn't have a home yet. Yeah. And now we gave it a home, and this will sell. We, we also had a very good response to it. Also because the height, look at the height compared to the extreme. This is about a 10 feet, 9 feet, 10 feet height, which fits in a lot of older locations. Yeah. And, the, and the footprint here is good too. The footprint smaller. is much smaller. So let's say from an operational point of view, it's a much more attractive piece. A little bit easier to set up because it comes on wheels. You only have to add on a few top panels. So, very good reactions to this one as well. You just keep them coming. You're an amazing company.